Hey, it's Bobby O, and welcome to another Cunis Car Convo. Hey, today we're chatting with number 35, Jake Junis, pitcher of your Milwaukee Brewers baseball team. Hey, gang, with our, our, our guy, Jake Junis, pitcher of the Milwaukee Brewers. Take a little car combo. How you doing, Jake? Great, doing great. How are you? Good. Just shot a nice video at his place. Gorgeous view of Milwaukee and the lakefront. And uh, he's going to squeeze in a car combo real quick here, maybe 10 minutes before he's got his game against Tampa Bay tonight, right? Tampa Bay Rays are in town, yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get back in that winning column. We lost this year in a row here, but, uh, you know, we're off to a really good start of the season. Oh, the team's so. playing good. You're still in first place, right? Uh, I think we're right up there. Us and the Cubs. Oh, you're in the Cubs. That's currently right. right there battling now. So how did you go? So you're originally from Rock Falls, right? Is that correct? That's right, yeah. And uh, um, you, you went to high school there? Is that where you got into baseball? Yeah, so I was born in Arkansas. My dad was uh, in the Air Force, but both my parents are from like the Rock Falls area. Gotcha. So I lived there for a, just under a year, I think. And then, yeah, I was just raised in Rock Falls, where back where my parents are from, went to high school there. Kick butt, yeah, did baseball there? Yeah, I played basketball and baseball in high school. Um, growing up, playing both of those sports. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We went so, to state my freshman year and got second place. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it was a fun ride. Yeah, had a good high school career. What about college? Uh, I skipped college. I was okay. committed to go to NC State out of high school. Um, but uh, Kansas City drafted me. Oh, gotcha, and gotcha. Ended up signing. Yeah. What year was that? That was in 2011. Oh, so 2011. So tell me the the, the, the track of your career from <clears throat> from then till now. Yeah. So I guess being a high school pitcher um, from the Midwest, you know, you don't have a ton of experience against super high level uh, competition. So they really took a slow row with me in the minor leagues. Um, I hit every single level, man. I was in two rookie balls. I did read that actually. Low A, high A, double A. And then once I finally got to double A, I kind of turned a corner. And uh, the last month of double A, I got promoted to triple A. And um, the following year, 2017, made one start in triple A. And then I got called to the big leagues with Kansas City and spent about half a year going up and down. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then I was there for the next four or five years until after 21, um, they let me go, and I signed a free agent deal with San Francisco Giants, and was there the last two years. Um, you know, loved my time there, a lot of fun. Uh, I live in Arizona, so I like being on the West Coast. And then, uh, once you hit six years of service time, you become a free agent, and that I did with San Francisco, and that's how I ended up here in Milwaukee. Nice, nice, and you, you are represented by the Washington team. That's one of the best there is. Yeah, they're uh, they're really good, man. I've been with the same agent since I mean since 2011, since high school, and uh, yeah, he's done nothing nothing but good things by me. And, and Wasserman as a whole group has been been phenomenal. Sounds great. And so the Brewers, tell me your experience so far. I know you just came off a, an in, coming off an injury and a quirky injury at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's been kind of a whirlwind so far. Uh, I actually, I will say, I haven't got to explore much of Milwaukee yet but I really like where I live downtown. I like the, the proximity of the ballpark. It's really easy to get out of, out of there. Uh, just hop on the highway, you're there in about five, 10 minutes. Um, the weather I hear is amazing in the summertime. So I'm really looking forward to spending some time by the lake. And then also we're off to a really good start. Yeah, you're off to a great start. It's uh, an exciting team to play for. We got a lot of young, exciting players and Hopefully we can uh, keep making some noise throughout the season. <clears throat> oh yeah, no, I think your, your glide path is looking good. So tell us real quick about that injury, man. That's crazy. Yeah, so I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm dealing with a little bit of a shoulder injury. So yeah. I'm, I'm rehabbing that and trying to come back from that. And I was in Pittsburgh the other day, uh, just got done playing catch, had a good day of catch. You know, I'm feeling good about myself and where I'm at. Hopefully getting back here sooner rather than later and uh, decided to run a few sprints in the outfield. And I was, come to the end of my sprint you know kind of breaking it down and I hear heads up and I turn and all of a sudden I get smacked in the head neck area with 104 mile an hour shit cases took me off my feet you know I had to go to the hospital had to do all the tests and make sure there's no brain bleeding or crazy breaks in my vertebrae or anything like that and thankfully um, 
you know, minimal damage, you know, yeah. maybe a mild concussion, but... Uh, I saw it in sports center, like, oh my gosh, is he going to be okay? But, yeah, it got out there pretty quick, that's for sure, but uh, yeah, uh, avoided, avoided the major stuff, you know, I'm very thankful that it, it could have been a lot worse, so... Um, so when do you think, uh, when do you think we'd be back... Uh, ready to play in a game again how, how uh, close are you it's a good question uh i haven't seen the exact schedule that they have laid out for me in my throwing program but i'm hoping as long as everything progresses and i feel good that in the next couple weeks you know i can you know be on the mound and maybe facing some you know on a rehab assignment facing some minor league hitters and then hopefully shortly after that get, get, get back, get, in, get back in here yeah yeah outstanding so new, new new coach, a lot of a lot of new faces in the, in, the, in the locker room besides yourself this year, you know, in the clubhouse, you know, right? New 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 uh, manager. Yep, yep. Murph, he's great. Um, you know, the great thing about Murph is that he's been with the Brewers, you know, these last I think he's been around nine years now with the team, and um, you know, it's been a great era of Brewers baseball. Uh, a lot of playoff appearances, a lot of wins, a lot of good teams coming through here, and he's been there for all of that. So. Uh, it only made sense for him to slide in there and take over as a, as manager. It, the, I mean, from what everything I can see, the, you guys are going to be really, I think, Cubs are playing a bit better, but I think you are still the team to beat this year. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of teams write off the Brewers for some reason, you know, like the track record, the last five, six years, one division, yeah. you know, we've gone to the playoffs, all this stuff, but, you know, for some reason, team, like, we still don't get the love that that I think is deserving, you know, from the league and from, yeah. you know, the the baseball writers or whoever predicts, you know, who's going to win the division, who's going to go to the playoffs, things like that. Um, feels like they're a very underrated team. Yep. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to join them and hopefully uh, play my part and get into the playoffs again. Well, we're glad, you have, glad to have you on the Cunis Auto Group RV team. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're your biggest fans all season, brother. And we look forward to maybe even come out and see some more stores at some point. But, uh, Good luck in the rehab program, yeah. brother. Thanks, man. Thanks, Appreciate everything. Me.